If you have any information pertaining to this case, you may contact the Clark County Office of the Coroner Medical Examiner by telephone at 702-455-3210 or by email at coronerunidentified at clarkcountynv.gov. You could instead contact the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department at 702-828-3111. On the 21st of August 2006, a man checked into the Todd Motor Motel on Las Vegas Boulevard in Las Vegas, Clark County, Nevada. When he failed to check out on the 11th of September as scheduled, the motel's manager knocked on his door. After receiving no answer, he forced his way into the locked room using his pass key. What he found in the room was the occupant unresponsive on the bed with the firearm in his hands. His death appeared relatively recent and was ruled a suicide by a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. The authorities thought that the case would be easily solved as he did have photo ID in his possession. It was soon discovered, however, that the decedent had stolen the identity of a living Californian man who had no connection to the decedent himself. It is believed that he stole this ID in 2004 or 2005. The deceased man was of Caucasian descent and between 25 and 40 years old. He stood at about 6 feet tall and weighed around 197 pounds, with brown hair, blue eyes, stubble, natural teeth in fair repair with fillings in teeth number 7, number 10 and number 25, a 4 by 6 inch long surgical scar on his lower left abdomen and a birthmark above his left knee. He was found wearing a size XL grey Fruit of the Loom t-shirt and size XL blue Fruit of the Loom undershorts. In his possession was a laptop on which a letter offering several clues was found. The letter was written in German and was addressed to his sister by the name Bridget, that's B-R-I-G-I-T, or Birgit, that's B-I-R-G-I-T. In the letter he talks about his ex-wife Karen, who lives in Perth and a possible daughter named Amy, and a childhood friend by the name of Dirk Matthias. Authorities located a man by the name of Dirk Matthias living in the US, but he did not recognise the decedent. The note also alluded to past trouble. Though multiple requests have been made, the Clark County Coroner's Office refuses to release a transcript or any photographs of this letter. In 2018, a Reddit user in contact with the Clark County Coroner released the information that the coroner has some doubt as to whether this was actually a letter and whether it was actually written by the decedent. She instead asserts that it is, quote, a type of letter slash journal type entry recovered on the laptop that may have been possibly deleted, unquote. She also states that the laptop may have been stolen, therefore this letter may be a red herring. Law enforcement managed to locate the former employer of the deceased man in California, who asserted that he spoke with a heavy German accent. In 2018, a Freedom of Information Act request for any and all information pertaining to this case was filed, but it was rejected as this case is still considered open to this day. I'll be frank with y'all for a second, when it comes to this particular case, I find law enforcement's reticence quite frustrating. This man's case file is reportedly huge, yet so little information has been released, but I digress. Multiple missing people have been officially ruled out as being this decedent. A list of these rule-outs will be in the description of this video. Again, if you believe you have any information that may in the identification of this decedent, you are urged to contact the Clark County Office of the Coroner Medical Examiner by telephone at 702-455-3210 or by email at coronerunidentified at clarkcountynv.gov. You could instead contact the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department at 702-828-3111. Thank you very much for giving the case of the Todd Motor John Doe a moment of your day.